What we got going on today? Day two, and the sun is out. Pipe looks from here. Gonna uh, get a little more practice in, and qualifiers are tomorrow, so got lots of work to do. I did one dub 12. I'm pretty happy. Hopefully the weather's like this tomorrow for qualies. That would be great. But if not, we're gonna enjoy the ride anyways. Well, I need to do kind of like a little bit of a lactic acid flush out of my muscles to try to get my legs nice and fresh for tomorrow. And I figure what better way to do that than to smack my filmer around on the racquetball court. So that's the plan. Here we go. <laughs> That's it folks, uh, I just did a pretty solid top to bottom run and it was good enough to make finals. So all the stress is off, I don't know if you can see the weight lifted off my shoulders. It wasn't really there too bad to begin with, but uh, now it's certainly off. Now I get to go have a fun run for run two, stoked. shifties and like you know I could just be smoother yep. lines could be a little better the line into my right hand I don't know why I, st I like it's a constant fight for me every season I like I by the mid-season I get to where I'm like really juicing it but early on I'm always like dub 12 well, it's, right. you haven't done that many dub 12s you kind of need to be thinking coming out of the dub 12 of placing your feet in the right place put them here and then so just after you that's get a bunch line. more dub 12s for the year you, you start to get so comfortable that you're like you're not thinking about that trigger you're only thinking about where you're what's coming your next yeah. yeah exactly so i think yep. that's your yeah. track in all the right direction um, yeah i'd like to uh, i think you'll need i think my focus this run is going to be to try to get the because I'm not worried about getting the right to 12, and that's going to come. Yeah. Like, my right nine is feeling really good right now, yeah. so I know that the and, right to 12 is And if you're tired, there's no point in doing it. And then for finals day, if you're feeling it that day, that's when we do it. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to go, I'm going to finish skiing today, go to the gym, work on some hip strength, you know, have a nice solid day off tomorrow, maybe spin on the bike for 45 minutes. By finals day, man, I'm going to be fresh. Yes, sir, I like it. <laughs> 
Oh, Fever's feeling good. Why is it so important to come uh, jump on these trampolines? Well, if I'm being completely honest, I'm still a little weak. I'm like 85 to 90% strength. So tricks that would normally be easy for me aren't easy for me. So like, I'm here, it's, we have a day off tomorrow, so I'm not really worried about getting too tired. And I'm just like sharpening my spatial awareness on some of my harder tricks. So like for finals, I want to be able to do like a switch dub, maybe a right dub 12. So I'm doing those a bunch on the trampoline just to get that, that snap, that power, that air awareness. Just trying to minimize risk as best I can because that's, you can't just, you can't just not try stuff for, I mean, you got to start working into it. So even though I'm not at hundred percent strength, I still feel comfortable getting into it. There it is. Smile, big boy. Thank you so much. No worries. So happy to see you out competing today. Me too. Feels yeah, good sure. to be back. All that hard work is paid oh, off. Yeah. I can mask. I can mask that weakness in the half fight, but I can't mask it on those one-legged drills. That's for sure. Shut her down. <laughs> Why were you shut her down? Well, I just was about to do a heavy. I was about to set that up and do some heavy leg press. And as I was getting in position, my left, my stronger quad started seizing up. So that shows that I'm pretty dehydrated slash probably pretty tired. So maybe I should shut her down for the day. <laughs> All right, one of my favorite parts about hunting is what I like to call venison diplomacy, which is sharing the bounty of a good hunting season with those you care about. And uh, this is a precious little piece of meat because this is from my Hawaii mouflon sheep, which are pretty small, so there's not very much meat on them. And uh, so to celebrate making finals today, to celebrate the comeback, I'm gonna treat some of the support staff to a nice mouflon roast. So here we go. All right, so I'm gonna do just a little light uh, dry rub here on the outside of this roast. The secret to a good roast is to fry it in butter. Very hot, sear the outside in butter before you put it in the oven for a long period of time at low temperature. So dry rub, sear in butter, and then bake for a long time at low. Uh, obviously I would like to have a grill, a Traeger or something like that, but we're working with what we have. I'm also gonna fry it in this pot because our little frying pan is about this big. <laughs> Don't laugh at me. I hope that you can hear that. <laughs> Seriously. Pretty crazy, that's it. That's an entire back ham of a sheep all into this little bundle of glory we're gonna enjoy together. That's just what we want. Tell me about it. So you're trying to sear the outside and just get it a little bit firm. So it kind of almost has like a crispy bit on the outside and then you cook it slow and low. And that's personally how I like it. Try to get it seared on all the sides. So you kind of got to like hold it up in the pan sometimes. Because if you get it seared on all the sides, then it kind of keeps the moisture in while it's cooking. I wish they could smell it. I wish, I wish you guys, I wish you guys could smell this. It smells glorious. Remind me to take the back strap out before the roast. Last thing you want to do is overcook game meat. You cannot, you should not ever overcook game meat. So I'm going to take these garlic cloves with this crappy knife and get them all pared down to individuals and then I'm going to poke little holes into the roast and insert the garlic into the roast for while it's cooking in the oven. Little, little pieces just like that. Just gonna go right into the roast. I managed to not fail and overcook the back strap. This the is a major plus. The people reminded you. The people, thank you guys, appreciate that. 
Now I'm gonna baste this other roast with a little bit of butter, keep them, you know, just cause I can, why not? And put it back in for a little while longer. <laughs> All right guys, we're gonna do something, well, not that abnormal here. I'm gonna cut a little piece, cause Justin is over there editing right now. And he's just dying to try this. It smells amazing. So I'm gonna cut a little nibble off of this for Justin to try. And then I'm gonna flip the camera around and you guys can watch. See how he feels about it. Woo! Look at that. Oh boy. Oh boy. Woo! Oh my gosh. Does it go? Mm -hmm. It goes. It just melts in your mouth. The goose was like pretty good, actually really good. This is like super duper good. Perfect. Dang. Oh boy. I'm gonna have to trim a little bit of that off for myself. Oh yeah. That goes. Yup. Dang. Yup. All right. I love it. I love, I love. What more can I say? I love. Your friends better get here before they we eat get it. Here, man. We might just destroy that back shot before they can get here. I just can't wait to get into this. That's, that's all I'm thinking right now. It's been, uh, there's something that's so like, I don't know, like good about roasts because you have to smell them for a long period of time. This has been in the oven for two and a half hours and it's gonna be so good but I've been smelling it for so long yeah. that I just want to just ah, inhale it. So I'm excited to share this with some, some people that have been supporting me along the way through this recovery. Here we go. 